He cut us down like wheat. And those men were my responsibility. I should have died instead of them. I fell down and lived. They were killed. They had wives, girlfriends, and children. What did I have? Kid, what you got? It's called survivor guilt. The way a man feels when his wife dies of cancer, it's, it's irrational, but normal. Inside, somewhere they know it's not their fault. You have to find that place. No, I, I know what I have to find. The sniper, and then what? I'm going to capture him. I'm going to kill him. On the battlefield, only a sniper can go up against a sniper. It's bullshit. An airstrike can take out a sniper. You going to be calling me any fast movers, kid? No. Look, you can't fight something you don't understand. A sniper comes from a whole different place than a field trooper. So I should what? Become a sniper? No way. All that sneaky shit? That's not fighting, sir! Brendan, I know who your father is. Yeah, so do I. Thomas Beckett, the greatest marine sniper, and all that bullshit. You know what I think of that? Warfare is fighting face to face on the battlefield. Sniping the enemy from, from a hiding place is pure chicken shit, like that IED crap. You're going to deliver books to a kid's school in Ramadi, and boom! That's not war. You've got to face your enemy. That's how you fight the sniper? Yeah, let me find him. I'll figure it out. News flash, kid. The Congo's a war zone and it ain't our war. It's time to go home. You can go home if you want. I have unfinished business here. Okay? A sniper killed my squad and my friends. And I'm going to find him. You understand? <laughs>